Welcome guys in this new lecture of digital system design using multisim. In previous lecture we saw the simulation of half adder. In today's lecture we are going to see yet another important digital circuit that is called multiplexer. So multiplexer is a data selector. It means that it selects the data from given inputs. Multiplexer is basically many input and one output but using select lines so here we are going to create a 2 cross 1 multiplexer now 2 cross 1 multiplexer means there will be two inputs but only one output and there will be one select line to select which of the two inputs will appear at the output at one time so this is how a 2 cross 1 multiplexer symbolic diagram looks like. Now there is one input A, another input B and one select line to select either input at a time. In a single time only one input will appear at output. And which input will appear at the output it will be decided by this select line. So to create 2 cross 1 multiplexer we need to know the boolean expression so the boolean expression of 2 cross 1 multiplexer goes like this and it comes from truth table or k map and so let's create this 2 cross 1 multiplexer here y equal to a s bar plus b s so there are three variables a b and s where s will be passing as s and by not gate and there are two inputs a and b so let's bring all these components first so i'll be needing this not gate let me bring it here then i need and gate two and gates so one and gate is here and then i need another and gate and then i need one or gate here it is and I need one probe so let me click on this indicators probe is here let me take this red probe and I need the inputs so I'll be going on this sources here it is digital sources interactive digital constant I need A I need B and I need S okay that's it these are the components we need for our operation so now let's make the connections so first I need this let me just rearrange these things okay so I need a here it is and I need S here it is but S with not gate so let me use this not gate here okay in this AND gate I'll be needing B let me connect this and then I need S I don't need S bar I need S so I'll take the input from here and in this OR gate both these AND gate outputs will come and then this probe for detecting the output that's it this is how our connections are done as per the given boolean expression for 2 cross 1 multiplexer we can change the names to a b and s also let me double click on this and here it is label we can name it a okay we can name it s again by clicking on the label and changing the label and then this is b okay so let's verify the expression a s bar and b S and both AND gates are going to this OR gate and our expression 
is matching here let's run and see the output so before that let me first change this select line to zero now the basic operation goes like this if s is zero s is zero then whatever input will be present at a will appear at the output if a is zero here zero will come if a is one here one will come if s is one then whatever input is at b it will appear at the output so if s is one and b is zero then b zero will come here and if s is one and b is one then one will come here a will have no effect on the output now let's run this and see okay so now s is zero it means that whatever input is at a it will come at the output so here a is zero and it is coming at the output let me just cross verify it by changing b so if i change b to one you can see nothing is happening here so b is not having any impact on the output if s is zero or we can say that if select line is zero then only one input is appearing at the output that is a so select line is zero a is zero output is zero let me change this to one and you can see that the probe has lightened up it means that a has got input one and it is appearing at the output now let's change s to one and c so now if s is one and if i change this a to one nothing is going to happen here because if s is one then b input will be selected and appear at the output so here b is zero zero is coming at the output if b is one then one will appear at the output from b so now if s is one then anything present on b terminal is appearing at the output and this is the basic operation of multiplexer so multiplexer is nothing but data selector and here it is selecting the data from a terminal if s is zero and from b terminal if s is one and you can verify this from this boolean expression also if s is zero so b into zero is zero and s bar will become one so y is equal to a it means that if s is zero output is equal to a similarly if s is one then b into one is b and a into zero is zero it means that y is equal to b if s is equal to one so if s is equal to one y is equal to b it means that anything appearing at b terminal will appear at the output and here we are verifying it also if s is one then b is one and it is going to lighten up if b is zero then again this zero will appear at the output if s is zero then anything appearing at a terminal will come on the output here a is zero so zero is coming at the output if a becomes one then one is coming at the output and this is the basic operation of multiplexer i hope you got the concept of multiplexer and that's it for this lecture and we'll meet in the next lecture thank you